Oh, I see the Luigi on the pipe there. You gotta come on the pipe from the other way, though. Think? Is this the pipe where I have to do that thing? Yeah, that's where the stamp is. Oh. Oh, I, I have to be- I have, I have to cap for this. Interesting. Well, meow. Hello, hello everybody! My name is Nuke and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. It has been a while since I recorded this. <laughs> um, when I was recording this, I kind of got a little too far ahead. I was trying to keep this and Destiny in line with the same amount of videos. And I got like three or four episodes ahead in Mario 3D World. And then I had to play Destiny for a little bit. And those episodes started getting longer because that's just how Destiny is, you know. So <laughs> I wanted to record yesterday, but I couldn't because I was too tired after work. And today I'm still tired after work, but we're doing it anyway. Screw it. <laughs> so we got... Two levels left in World 5, including the castle, so we're just about through World 5. We'll see if we can get through all of it in this episode today. See if I can remember where the stars are. Oh yeah, this level. Spotlight equals bullet bill attack. Gotcha. I would rather... rather the Tanuki suits than the Fire Flower in this level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a little too excited there. Yeah, Tanuki suit, definitely the way. Oh, right, that guy's gonna come back to life. What's the time limit on that, anyway? I don't even know. What is the time limit on it? Ah. Boing. I think that's the only thing I needed it for. I don't think there's anything else up here for me to jump on. Okay. Take some free coins, thank you. Now, what do we got here? Stamp? I'll take the stamp. Love that even the bullet bills are cats in this game. It's hilarious and adorable to me. Okay, that's not how that works. Yeah, technically, that is how that works, but that's not that's not how it properly works. Ah! Get out of here. Ah! Excuse you! Ow! Bro! I thought I'm so small, I just went under the searchlight. Oh, I can duck under that searchlight. Okay. Interesting. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Got it. I'm gonna take you, you're gonna go here. Boing. Oh wait. Boing. There we go. Is there a hidden one up here? No. Okay. Have to check, have to check. The Goomba head. That'll keep them from attacking me, but I'm gonna need to get attacked by bullet bills later anyway. Ooh. Time, thank you. Ooh. Oh, that, well, that one's too high for me to... Too low for me to duck on. Or duck under, I should say. Go ahead, fire all your rockets at me. I do not care. Your pesky little bullet bills cannot affect me. I thought there was an actual castle level for a second there. Yeah, alright. And we got a happy toad. Good times had by all. And gambling. Well, all right then. Wow. 
Clunk. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been like a week. Oh. And I'll take the triple. 300 is better than nothing. I'll take partial credit. <laughs> All right, castle time. What we got? Oh, King Kathunk's ca- Oh, this castle's... Gotta be one of the most underwhelming bosses in the entire game. Like, I know it's a Mario game, but come on. <laughs> well, speaking of, uh, I know it's a Mario game, but come on. <laughs> it gave me a thought. I saw a... a post on Twitter. I was gonna say it was an image, but it was a little video. Um, it was one of those Mario ROM hacks and they were fighting Bowser in the video and it was just like the super hard, you know, one of those where it's just meant to be, it, it looked like it was built specifically to be frustrating, but it was definitely, uh, you have to really get good to be good at it. And I know some people aren't going to agree, but I don't feel like that's good for Mario. I feel like Mario is supposed to be more of a... I'm gonna do that course again because I messed up that green star. But I, I, I consider Mario to be more of a cozy game, like a cozy platformer than something that's supposed to be, you know, super challenging. Like if you want a challenging Mario game, that's fine. But that's there's two ways to get that, and it's called ROM hacks and Super Mario Maker. <laughs> like we leave vanilla Mario alone. Like obviously, like final boss fights with Bowser, or like, um, you know, special bonus levels, like, uh, Bowser in the Sky, that boss fight was stupid, and, uh, Champions Road, and Grandmaster Galaxy, and all that fun stuff, that's all, I gotta restart this again, because I keep messing that up. That stuff's fine, because it's all, like, in-game stuff, but, like, I guess, technically, the video I'm talking about was in-game, because it was Bowser, but... <laughs> Well, there's a difference, right? Like, there's a difference between, like... Um... Uh, I, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to describe the video. But it was just one of those things where it was just meant to be obscenely hard. Versus just, you know... Challenging hard. That's something interesting that I learned, too. I was playing... I, I got Super Mario Maker 2 recently. Like, since the last time I recorded this, I've gotten and played Super Mario Maker 2. And... The game has tutorials to teach you how to make levels, like how to be an act, like actual game design stuff. And I played a few levels, and it's super clear to me that so many people did not watch those tutorials. And I get it, there's 45 of those videos. It takes like an hour and a half probably to get through them all, so I get it. Like, I'm not begrudging anybody. But like... Like, so, so many of the levels in Mario Maker were just meant to be hard, just for the sake of being hard. Despite, you know, cohesion or anything like that, or level design or anything like that. It's just, no, it's just hard. Like, cool. Why? <laughs> hard does not equal good. I don't know why people who play Mario Maker seem to think that, but... I, I don't know. I guess maybe they'll think that some streamer will play it and be like, oh look, that's my level. I was like, whatever. I don't know, man. I'm, it's just a, it's a sweeping generalization. It's probably unfair to say, but the levels I play, let me put it that way, are uh, just some of those hard for the sake of being hard, you know? Like that pixel perfect. And some people find satisfaction in that, and that's fine, but I'm just like, man, I, I have a job. <laughs> You know, I work, play video games to relax, and if I want to challenge myself, you know, there's games for that, like Elden Ring or something, there's not... I, 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 don't, I don't play Mario for that, you know? But that's just me. I've been blabbering this entire time. I've lost completely tr complete track of what I've been saying. <laughs> like, like, my consciousness has taken a backseat to this entire monologue, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, 
like your conscious self is just taking a back seat to what you're actually saying. You know what you're saying. And you're just letting yourself say it regardless of whether or not it makes any sense. Does any of that make any sense to anybody other than me? <laughs> oh, whatever. We got through the castle. We did the thing. I think that boss was way too easy for World 5, I'm sorry. What do you do? I like how all the fairy people seem to be like well versed in construction. <laughs> Alright, the Sky World. I forgot about the Sky World. I thought we were going straight to the Fire World. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, right. Yeah, this is the world with uh, that level I hate. Great. <laughs> cool. We'll do this, and then we'll do the first level of World 6. And then we'll call us an episode. Also, on the day I'm recording this, in fun video game news, uh, Twitter informed me that today was the day Baldur's Gate 3 turned one year old. Which is super interesting to me because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> well, that's not true. I played it at a friend's house in like a co-op mode and I was really... I don't know, I wasn't in the right mindset to play something like Baldur's Gate at the time, so I didn't really enjoy it. I've been planning to go back and give it another shot in my own time. I have it. Have the uh, the collector's edition box thing that you get from. Why did I do? I did not want to do that. That was not something I wanted to do, game. You know why I stepped into that pipe? I just wanted to throw a fireball at it, but whatever. Um. Yeah, I got the Collector's Edition big box thing and everything for Baldur's Gate 3, and I just never played it. I haven't even opened it yet. Baldur's Gate 3 seems like the type of thing, though, where, like, if you play it, it'll just consume your life, and I'm like, I don't need that. Like, that's what I have Monster Hunter for. <laughs> I can't have two games that are life-consuming. Like, that doesn't... that doesn't work. That doesn't, that doesn't suit my narrative. I'm sorry, I'm sure it's a fantastic game. But yeesh. Oh, I see little Ouija on the pipe there. I gotta come on the pipe from the other way, though. I think? Is this the pipe where I have to do that thing? Yeah, that's where the stamp is. Oh, oh! I, ha I have to be. I have. I have to cat for this. Interesting. Well, meow. I don't know why I did that. There was literally no reason for me to do that. Now here, in this interest of saving my cat suit. Which I will now return to <laughs> because I don't feel like timing it. Anyway, I love what an oxymoron I'm being today. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
Who knew, I guess? Well, I don't get to keep the piranha plant after all that. Well, we kind of bonded a little bit, man. He ate my enemies. He snatched the star for me. I named him Frank. I mean, come on. Once you name something, you become attached to a game. I know I didn't verbalize that I named him Frank, but I named him that in my head. It really isn't that what's important. Is that I knew it. <laughs> Captain Toad. I think he's stuck in the pipe, though. I don't think there's any way to get him out of there. Good luck in there, buddy. Oh, hey, Captain Toad. Nice. Yeah, ghost house. Ooh, boy. Is there anything else around here that I can jump into? What is this? Ah, stamp house. Oh. Okay, thank you. Anyway. Yeah, this is a rather, rather long world, too. Alright. Spooky Seasick Wreck. That's actually a pretty, pretty fun level, but we're going to go ahead and save that for the next video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like to let me know. Leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking about this game so far. Subscribe for more of this coming your way very soon. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.